write the sum of the series i plus i square plus i power 3 and so on up to 1000 terms. So the sum required i power 1 plus i power 2 plus i power 3 and so on up to i to the power of 1000. And since we know that i to the power of 4n is equal to 1, i to the power of 4n plus 1 is equal to i, i to the power of 4n plus 2 is equal to i square that is minus 1, i to the power of 4n plus 3 is equal to i to the power of 3 that is minus, uh, sorry this is 4n plus 2 is minus 1, i to the power of 4n plus 2 is i square that is minus 1 and i to the power of 4n plus 3 is minus i. So if you add all this, the sum of this i to the power of 4n plus i to the power of 4n plus 1, i to the power of 4n plus 2 plus i to the power of 4n plus 3 which equals to 0. The sum is always equals to 0 which means that the powers of i, the consecutive numbers, the 4 numbers, 4 consecutive powers of i is always equals to 0. So here i to the power of 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 1000 these are consecutive numbers and 1000 is also divisible by 4. So we can write this as i to the power of 1 plus i to the power of 2 plus i to the power of 3 and plus i to the power of 4. This is one set and again i to the power of 5 plus i to the power of 6 plus i to the power of 7 plus i to the power of 8 plus and so on. i to the power of 997 plus i to the power of 998 plus i to the power of 999 plus i to the power of 1000. So we will be getting all the set of 4 since exactly 1000 is divisible by 4, uh, 1000 is divisible by 4, so 250 terms will be there. So we will be getting 1 plus i, I, I plus i square plus i power 3 plus i power 4 is 0, i power 5 plus i power 6 plus i power 7 plus i power 8 will be 0, they are consecutive and so on, in the last 0, this totally the sum is 0. So this here we will be having 250 times, 0 250 times will be there, so the answer is 0 anyhow. Okay, right, thank you.